today we're going to look at an electric pump in the plumbing. Oh yeah, space just opened up. Perfect. Um, get a lot of warranty claims on electric pumps. Going to show you kind of things we see that the manufacturer is not going to cover. Uh, so first, you know, when you're coming out of the tank, you're going to want to go through a filter. If you don't have a filter on your suction side, you're going to get debris in the pump head, which can cause it not to work properly. Uh, the other issue we see is a really long suction line. Now these pumps do have some pull. They do their run dry self-priming, but probably only 10 to 12 feet. I've seen some suction lines about 50 feet, which is going to make that pump work a lot harder, not work properly. Uh, biggest issue we see is on the discharge side. Um, a lot of sprayers we see, they'll have a line just going to your reel or your gun, uh, but they don't have any excess flow line. Uh, so if you have a sprayer, your pump is putting out, say, you know, six gallon per minute, and your tip's only letting out four gallon per minute, that's not good for an electric pump. It's going to make your switch burn out, the pump's going to cycle, it's not going to work. Uh, so everything we build is going to have a T with a gauge, then your line to your swivel on your hose reel, then a ball valve and a line going back towards the bottom of the tank for agitation. What this allows you to do is put that excess flow that the tip can't handle back into the tank and it makes the pump not cycle. Uh, so if you have a system and you don't have an overflow line, if you're going to go towards the bottom, it has to be agitation. If you want to go towards the top, you know, it's going to be a bypass line. But you should have some type of valve here to help equalize out. If we send a picture of your sprayer to the manufacturer for warranty, you don't have a filter, you don't have a T with a line going back to the tank, uh, the chances they're going to warranty it are very low.